the best time doing it. And I'm super excited to share all of these skills with you, so let's get started. Before we go anywhere, please make sure you hit that subscribe and little bell icon down below so that you don't miss out on any of these brand new skills that I'm bringing to you each and every month. Okay, so this month we are doing neck wrap. I really like neck wraps, they're really easy. Uh, you can do them horizontally, you can do them vertically. They're basically a substitution for any sort of forward vertical or horizontal pass. The key to neck wrap is making sure that you wrap as far as humanly possible first before you let go of the stack. It's not a roll, it's a wrap. So make sure that the distance between the hand that's releasing the hand that's catching is as short as possible. So you can start in any hand. For now, we're gonna start in the right hand and I want you to be two thirds of the way up the stick. So right now I'm just at the edge of my tape so I have more stick on the top end. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come around horizontally and I'm gonna bring my staff all the way around my neck and behind my head. I'm basically trying to reach my right ear. So I'm in my right hand, so I'm trying to reach my right ear. So I wanna make sure I wrap the staff first. And I'm also wrapping as far as I can. So even if you have tighter shoulders or broader shoulders, as long as you have wrapped that as far as you can go, then you have done your job of wrapping as far as humanly possible. Okay, so I'm gonna come here. My opposite hand is gonna come underneath my elbow and I'm gonna have my fingers up, thumb out. And all I have to do is just put my hand in the path of the step. I don't necessarily have to make a full connection at the back. I mean, you can, but it's actually faster just to put your hand in the, in the path of the staff and then you're just gonna push that top end very gently, you don't need a lot of force, and that's gonna send the stick into that opposite hand and then you bring it out. And then if you wanted to repeat that, you can just go back the opposite way. So I'm about two thirds of the way down, wrapping it as far as humanly possible, Opposite hand comes up, fingers up, thumb out. I give it a little nudge on the back of my neck, come right to my hand, and then open. There's really nothing more to it than that. If you're trying to move it, you're just making it harder for yourself. So try to make sure that you're grounded and stable, wrapping it all the way around, comes all the way out. It should be nice and fast and whippy. mastery with these staff spinning skills is repetition. So what I want you to do over the course of the month is try to your best to do 1,000 reps. Hey everyone, I just wanted to pause the video to tell you why I want you to do 1,000 reps. Now it's common knowledge that 10,000 or more reps is going to create something close to mastery, maybe not quite. 1,000 reps is gonna be enough for you to download and comprehend the skill and then also give you something to practice and work for on the other end of it. It's easier than you think to do 1,000 reps. You just break it down into little micro steps and that will be enough to get it done throughout the month. And then you have the skill, you won't have to learn it again, but then you still have something to work on on the other end of it. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and follow me on all the social platforms so you don't miss out on any of the cool stuff that I'm posting. And I love hearing from you. So please make sure you leave me a comment and hit that like button down below. Also, I love seeing your progress, so please make sure that you're sharing it with me. Use these hashtags that I have up here, and I would love to see what you're creating. So that's it for this video. I'll see you next month. Bye. Fuck you, garbage truck. Holding for sound. Cool. One take wonder.